All right, well, that's uh, real close to a replication of what the gentleman portrayed. And I was really, really, really surprised that this configuration on an electrostatic motor would work. Um, I had to run it off of uh, 18 volts here using that uh, negative ion generator. And, of course, uh, this is not the way he showed it with no power source in his video, but the configuration of the uh, segments on the rotor. Let me stop this here. The segments go all the way around to the back side, like he showed. And then there's a concave electrode on this side and points on this side. Now, on mine, they tapped the rotor. On his, they didn't. But possibly, this would have even run without having to tap the rotor. But that configuration works. I was very, very surprised that that works. There's no contact on this side at all. It's, it's being uh, charged with that uh, negative ion uh, feed from the generator right there. And it uh, somehow gets a charge going through the cardboard and everything. There's actually a aluminum on the back there. And then over here, it pulls the charge off into the negative. Now, I can disconnect the negative of the generator, put this to a ground, just to the ground, and it still runs. And like I say, I was very, very, very surprised at this configuration that he showed in that video actually did work and um, that was amazing I, I didn't think it would work I didn't think uh, having no contact on the one side here would would work but if you have a big enough charge this is 6 kV that will run I hope nobody thinks I have a motor stuck in there because I think that's how he faked his. He put little motors in the hub. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this apart now that you've seen it all and uh, just show you how this is set up. Let's pull this apart here. I hate to do this because it's a hassle putting it back, but I did want to show this. that I'm sure there were some people that thought I had a motor in there. There's no motor in this. It's just a bearing, and it's a real loose steel bearing that uh, makes this go around real, real easily. And uh, it's not a very good bearing situation, but that's the rotor with the segments on both sides. And then these are the little contact points that actually do tap the disc on mine. And that's just a concave contact area on the other side and then like I say I'm using this uh, 6kV negative ion generator and there's probably some people that are going to wonder about the uh, danger of that. I looked into this and uh, possibly this is putting out some ozone. If you don't breathe it up your nose I don't think you're going to have a problem on an experiment like this. Um, I actually took this outside and ran this uh, off of a solar panel too. <laughs> So if you don't want to breathe any of that stuff, you could always take it outside. But that actually is very, very close to what that guy showed, except that it has to have a power source. But anyway, I just wanted to get back to the people that had worked on this project and wondered if you could power it the way it was configured. And the answer is yes and pretty much the way that he described it. You just have to have a high voltage power source to make it run. Thanks for watching.